Hey everybody, it's Halo Man 27 and I am back for episode 40 of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this episode, I'm actually going to be starting off by trying to collect the um the additional dowsing targets that we can now get because there is now four more than there was originally as you saw in the last episode. So, we can't actually get the top one and the left one because those have to do with the side quests and such, and the s actual story. But, if we come here, and then I get excessively disappointed by the fact that I don't freaking have the crap that I need to upgrade my bow, which blows, and I don't have any goddess plumes still, if we come here, and then uh, stop talking to him, Fi will jump out. And she'll be like, a report master! Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dowsing ability to locate treasure. Please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list at your leisure and convenience. Awesome! So now we have that. And I will meet you over at the next dowsing thing that we can get. So, BRB! Whoosh! So, unfortunately, it appears that the bottom right? No, bottom left dowsing target. It is actually gratitude crystals, but I believe I have collected all of the individual gratitude crystals. So I don't think this is accessible anymore, which kind of, <laughs> that's going to bother me forever because it'll just be empty, even though it's not supposed to be. Right there should be, like, all you do is talk to him and it should allow you to get it, but apparently in this case, oh! So much for everything I know. Maybe I'm just stupid, apparently. There it is! Boom! Gratitude crystals. So, I will now meet you at the next place, which is actually... No! I will not! Those are the two that I'm going to get for now. The other two are actually going to be right along the way. They will be super convenient for us to get. So, I will meet you guys at the Isle of Songs next, so we, <coughs> ah! so we can get the next song. So, I will BRB! Actually, wait. BRB! And here we are, back at the Isle of Songs for the third time. I believe this is actually the final time we have to come here, too. So, enjoy it while it lasts, shushing Daling. And here is the final song. Well, not final song, but third song. Fourth, if you count Ballad of the Go- I'll let you listen to it. According to my records, that song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use this song of might to locate the last trial. You learned Din's Power! <laughs> I 
I have committed Din's power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use Dowsing to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. Which is where we will be going now. So, as I do with most of the flying, I will... Oh! Dowsing. We're going to see more of that this episode still, too. So, I will actually meet you guys over at Elden Volcano. So, toodaloo. And, as we arrive, we are going to want to go to the bottom, the volcano entry, because that just happens to be the most convenient place for all the stuff we want to get, and not just uh, the one thing that... The trial! Not just the trial. So, we land, we have arrived at Elden Volcano. You can use Dowsing Ability to locate the gate to the trial. You must pass this trial in order to locate the Sacred Flame, of course, as we have done with the other ones. And we will speak to our good friend Gorko! Oh hey, we meet again! How have you been, bud? I rumbled over here because I heard someone had spotted goddess cubes in the area. You may have already found some, but I got this feeling there are some others hidden away around here. You might think about searching for them yourself when you get the time. And Blue Lady will now give us the ability to douse for goddess cubes, which is super convenient. Obviously, I've collected all these things before, so I know where they are, and if you're watching this, you could very well be using it as a guide. So we don't particularly need these... D <coughs> ah, sorry. We don't particularly need these dowsing abilities, but it's still just useful nonetheless. So I'm still figuring that I should show them off for you, because... Hey, knowledge is power, and this is where there was a red rupee at one point, but now it's not there. So I will actually meet you over at that middle place where we dropped down that one time, because we need to go in there next for another thing that we are here for. So I will meet you right over there. PRB. All right. Now that we are in this room with the kind of like miniature maze with fire, there's actually some new guys here that were not here before, and we need to, uh... Oh, hey. Correct. Rupees, Elden Ore, and Hearts are things that we can dig up. But, that is unimportant to us, because we... I don't think you actually need to talk to that guy, but I did. This guy, though is who you want to talk to, I believe. So I will just try to roll this bomb properly. And apparently that's not gonna happen. Come on. There we go. Then we talk to him. He is also new here. And Elden Volcano is riddled with hidden caves. Uh, we will find all kinds of things, but primarily rupees! Master, the abilities of your sword have increased. It is now possible to douse for rupees. Rupees are now registered as a dowsing target, and that is our final dowsing target. Aside from the one on the left that is for side quests, but that does not matter for right now. We will inevitably get that, because we are doing the side quests and stuff. Okay, I didn't figure you'd be able to do that, <laughs> but I really hoped it would work. Oh well. Um, yeah, there are a couple more side quests later, so we will be able to get those, but obviously we are not in the process of any side quests right now. And we have seen some side quests in the past, like the Fun Fun Island one where we were searching for the party wheel and stuff. But, alas, I'm actually going to stock up on bombs and then meet you on the other side of that bridge. This is where it is, and we are going to... Totally strum. That was weird. But it worked!
Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to a new silent realm. Oh, there we go. Alright, this is the third silent realm, the Elden Volcano Silent Realm, and it is significantly more difficult in a lot of people's opinions than the previous two. Like, this is where Silent Realm difficulty really ramps up. There is... Yeah. that <laughs> That's basically all there is to be said. It's considerably harder than the previous two. Master Rick. You stand within Din Silent Realm, the third trial. It will test the limits of your power. To locate the flame that will enhance your sword, you must first complete the final challenge and achieve spiritual growth once again. And for the third time... There is our spirit vessel! When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you will be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? No. Understood, Master. Master, I await your return in the outside world. So, as you can see, there are not any things close to us except for that one. But there's a guardian right beside it. It's rather risky to go for that one first. But for some reason, I'm stupid enough to try it anyway. And if we lure this guy down and around... Basically, if you just, like, sprint straight up there right away, it's pretty much the worst idea ever. Because he walks towards you, and if you're walking towards him while he's walking towards you, you're not gonna get very far before you're dead. Or at least kicked out of the Silent Realm. Which, oh well. Over here, though, is where we're gonna wanna go. It's best, in most people's opinions, to go directly up the mountain first, because up the mountain... Oh, that was kind of weird. Up the mountain is where some of the more difficult ones are, so lots of people like to try and get them out of the way as soon as possible. Oh, no! <laughs> try to get them out of the way as soon as possible, obviously, because that way, if you have to start over, you don't have too much to redo. That is not pleasant. Oh man! Skills! But, seriously, I almost just got dominated. Uh, as you can see, we do not particularly have any way over there. I do not know why. But, where am I going now, even? Uh-oh. Suddenly, I'm all lost. No, I believe I go back down this hill now. Uh, oh, there's a Dusk Relic right there. I don't think I need any of these. <laughs> I think I already got all of them. If you are very, very paying attention, you will notice in the last episode I got up to two Ancient Flowers, and now I'm down to one, because I accidentally got something before I meant to. No, That was a horrible time for that! Okay, well, everything sucks. Intense chase now. Here it is, the retardedly intense chase scene. There's another Dusk Relic there, but like I just said, I don't believe I even need it! Oh man. Um, that geyser is important. It is how we will get up to the top area. Instead, I'm going to jump into lava, apparently. Oh man. This is a frightening... Yeah! Holy balls! Oh man! Ah, I don't even I don't even know what to say about Oh my goodness. <laughs> As you can see, there was another dusk relic. I need to take some time to like compose myself after how ridiculously intense that just was. Oh gosh. I'm freaking out, man. But, that fakes you into wanting to go left, but you actually don't want to go left, because you want to come over here, because there's actually two of them over to the left. These guys are stay on, so don't worry about them. You want to grab this one first, because that way you can jump over here, and then run up to this one. Um, it's good to get a little bit more height up on here, because that way you can actually get your bearings before you get to where all the uh, waking water is, because if you slide into that waking water, 
there's a very unfortunately positioned guardian waiting right down here. Uh, I believe, I, for some reason I can't remember, but I believe the, uh, the running guardians are much more intimidating when it comes to being chased than the flying ones. So you definitely don't want to activate him right beside yourself. These ones are fairly spread out. As you can see, I had to go like all the way up the mountain for some of them. Fortunately, in this area, apparently... What? Oh, I'm sorry, I just totally went the wrong way. Some of the layout is a little bit changed in this area. Like, if you didn't blow up that rock, I'm pretty sure it's just gone anyway. Because that way you're actually capable of going up here. and Or going up to the top, at least. Is what I meant. Um, oh. Some of these guys, in my opinion, are a little bit cheaply placed because I totally got caught, even though I totally shouldn't have last time I was playing this. I'm not doing a very good job of leaving easy ones, so hopefully I don't mess everything up right now. Sweet. Sorry if I'm kind of like, I don't know, Silent Realms. I like them, but at the same time, they weren't quite as cool as I was originally thinking they would be. Because basically, it was like, the Guardians are just super overpowered, so you have to keep them frozen at all times, and I was hoping that it would be, <coughs> uh, like, not like that. I was hoping you would actually have, like, have to run from them and stuff like that, but as it turned out, that was not the case, which... I don't know, it kind of disappointed me, because I thought it would be more, I don't know, a little bit more intense if they were always able to chase you, but not, like, as fast as you are while sprinting. Or at least, the ones that are on the ground, I believe, are the ones that walk as fast as you sprint. So it's just kind of, like, I don't know, it kind of takes some of the fun out of it for me. Are you joking me? Okay, I left one... <coughs> All the way up at the top of the mountain, which means I'm going to have to go down the slide a second time, which that is extremely unfortunate because I have to get all the way up there too, and I'm not going to have everything frozen. Whew, I'm still, my heart is still racing a little bit from the, uh, that guardian that almost got me and then I leapt downwards. I don't like the balancing in this game. Quite frankly, it just, I don't know, I just kind of like wiggle my hand back and forth and that seems to work for me, but I don't know, it's just not that cool of a mechanic to me. I don't know, balancing mechanics in games, <coughs> because you're obviously not standing there and balancing yourself, they're just, they never seem like they're that great, in my personal opinion. But, oh man. Okay, one more. Not too bad. Let's just not get caught by this guy. I'll let my sprint gauge go up a little bit. Get by. Awesome. Unfortunately, I basically left the one that was furthest away from where I was. So, I have quite a bit of distance to go. There's another Dusk Relic for you, if you still need some. I don't know where all the Dusk Relics are, but it doesn't really matter that much to me, because obviously I have, like, as many as I need at this point. I totally forgot that there is one right up there. Okay. There is the final one. So, now I just need to make it back down to the bottom of the slide, because unfortunately, even though the geyser is right at the bottom of where I just, obviously I just took the geyser up, I can't take it back down, because it's a geyser, and it's spewing air up. So, now I need to make it down this slide somehow. Uh, using sprint, oh, that was kind of weird, it wouldn't let me control myself very well. Oh, okay, definitely don't want to go down that way. I've never checked down there before, but I'm glad I just did, because that could have been, that could have been fatal. 
That was kind of risque. But awesome! Made it down. So now it's pretty much smooth sailing over to... Um, over to the end. Because in this one, there's not a lot of the little ghost guys flying around with their lanterns to try and catch you. It's more waking water and the guardians that you have to worry about. <coughs> and with this, losing stamina right before I get there... But we've made it back, and we completed the Elden Volcano Silent Realm, which is awesome. And now, we are going to get a fancy new prize. The Fire Shield Earrings. So now we can stand any heat without a sweat, as it said, and return to the normal realm. Welcome back, Master. I conjecture your newly acquired fire shield earrings will allow you to safely travel in extremely hot areas. I recommend continuing your search for the sacred flame. I will definitely do that, but <coughs> I don't know how long this episode's been going for, so I am going to end it off here. So in the next episode, we will go see what our fancy new fire shield earrings can do for us, and hopefully get to the next dungeon. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. This has been Halo Man 27. Goodbye, everybody. Leap, 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 leap.